compression techniques and we looked at how to protect your hands in the process of doing compression. And in compression we were finding points of tenderness and we're using the breath and we're using the breath and we're using time <coughs> to just relieve those points of, of uh, tightness and tenderness, yeah? We talked about that. But at the same time we talked about friction, we talked about cross fibre friction, very useful for things like the erector spinal muscles, yes? Um, but I didn't do a lot about it, did I? And I want to do a little bit now because it's very useful. That is a cross fibre friction. So what's happening here is I'm going into, if you come closer, and the video camera as well, I'm actually, I found a little ridge of tight muscle there. How's that feel, Sarah? It's quite tight. Yeah. It's quite tight. Is it tender? And what you can do is actually go quite, it's not comfortable necessarily, but go quite deep and friction over those, cross, across those fibres. Quite useful for tight areas of muscle. Okay? It's usually a deep and quite a tight, uh, a deep movement, but also quite localised. Yes, Matt? Is this something we do as sort of part of the deeper tissue? Yes, yeah. part of your deep tissue techniques. Yeah, okay. So you might well use a supported finger technique there. Uh, so anywhere where it's tight, you can do that cross friction, uh, cross fiber friction, um, as well as that compression work that you already have. Okay? Thank you. Just stop.